Welcome everyone to Indie Quest. I'm going to be playing Chaos Collapse. It is by Sushin00. I may be pronouncing that wrong. So if I am, I'll put it up on screen. Uh, this game has received some mixed reviews from people, but I consider it definitely worth reviewing and playing. Despite its faults. Um, I'll go through a few the levels. It's pretty fun, actually. Whoa. Whoops. Okay, that's one note that should be noted. Uh, you have to use the uh, WASD keys or um, it'll shift you off if you use the arrow keys. The whole point of the game is that you have to save everyone from in a collapsing building before it collapses and you die. Whoa. Okay. It's pretty easy to die sometimes, especially for some reason if the building is falling off, falling over underneath you. I don't exactly know why, it's just how it is. Um, I like the music for the game, um, oh darn it, darn it, no! Darn it, maybe I should try an easier level. Still, I like the idea of this kind of like, bricky feel to it, even though there are some drawbacks to it, like, some of the levels fall apart before you even uh, get started. And strangely enough, it actually has to do with um, just how you move sometimes. Like, instead of walking somewhere, or uh, if you choose to jump, it, the, what is it, the buildings fall over less quickly. I know it sounds strange, but I've done it. I've done this in a pattern where I like walked like twice in a row, and the building still fall, fell over. And then when I decided to jump to the area, the building stayed up longer. So you can make your own conclusions on it, but that's just how it worked out for me. Dun, 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 dun. And as you'd expect, the levels get progressively harder as you go on. Whoa. Yeah. I consider, I think, one of the hardest ones to be the second to last level. I'll show you why right after this level, if I can make it out of this. Whee! Whoops. Okay, uh, much like in real life, you can't fall too far without dying. Boom. Yeah, this is the tough one. Yeah, it breaks apart as soon as you begin. Yeah, see? I jumped, and instead of uh, everything falling apart, it stayed together for some reason. Still, even with all this, it is fun. And it definitely is challenging, and impressive that this uh, person can carry so many people. Okay... I'm, I think I've gotten everyone once on this level, but it's extremely tough. Not to get everyone, but actually to get down once you do, because I think the uh, your only method of escape falls apart shortly after the level begins. But you could be a jerk and just rescue a few people and just say, yep, oh, thanks to be you guys. See, there's my method of escape right there. That is right now leaning precariously. Uh, 12 people out of 30, not bad. Let me just walk slowly away. Yeah, a lot of people have pointed out that with all the, um... The, the things I just pointed out with... Yeah, that. <laughs> this is the last level where just suddenly a, another building just, like, falls apart over top of you and just, like, crashes down on you. Yeah, with how short the game is and, like, all the things I point out, you think it wouldn't be fun, but it still is for some reason to me. And it ha it's, like, the it's one of the author's most popular games, which I failed to mention, uh, some of his other ones. Oh! <laughs> uh, Frontier to Nowhere, Rittimore, which I'm probably going to be also reviewing later, because I like the story behind it. Or the concept, actually. I don't know if you can say it has a story, but focusing on this... I can do this. Man, that's impressive that these people manage to get themselves stuck like this. Uh, uh, 
Uh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna get it this time, I think. Nope, nope, not gonna get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, another cool thing with this is that um, even after the building has collapsed, you can still rescue people if they're alive. Like, I can go up there and get that guy right there. If I don't die. Sometimes the game works out like that for you. Most of the time it doesn't, though. I like the fact that I'm super strong and can push around debris like it's nothing. Whoops. Darn it. Thank you, creator, for the instant restart button. Oh, yes, I think I might do it. No, 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 no! Ow! Okay, maybe another level. I'm kind of sad that there aren't more levels. I definitely want to see more of this. The fact that, it, that, that there are flaws actually just makes it that much enjoyable, because it makes it kind of a challenge, like, even with flaws, I'm still going to beat this game. Then you have an entire building collapsing on top of you. Yeah, try getting out of this. <laughs> it's definitely possible, it takes a little work. I don't think I ever rescued every single person from all the levels. I don't want to say it's impossible. There is one level where someone dies instantly as soon as you begin, so... Can't really help that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, construction workers standing by on the sidelines like, It's hopeless, they're all dead, and then this girl just like pops out of there. It's like, whoa, I thought they were all dead! Whee! <laughs> Yeah, she's jumping like a Mexican jumping bean! And she just ran off the people when they should be going to the hospital. Okay, well that's the end of this episode of Indie Quest. I suggest you try this out for yourself, and I actually hope the author maybe makes another game like this in the future. And maybe fixes a few things, like the buildings falling over maybe as soon as the level begins. Not a big deal since something can't be changed with that, but the people dying instantly... Um, upon <laughs> the level beginning, uh, that might need to change. And check out the author's other games. Um, you can find them in the link in the description below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everyone.